Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. I took a law course years ago when I was a young man from George Gordon in Idaho. And he said, if you're going to have a fun with this law course, you're going to be wrong. Count of three. Corruption. We also <coughs> Hey folks, thanks for having me again. Uh, I come here to talk to you because I've already been in touch with Scott at the State Municipal Insurance Risk Fund, which does the insurance here for Easley, and I have a statement prepared. I'm here tonight in front of you folks because I'm sad. I'm sad and embarrassed for the citizens of Easley that they have such poor quality of leadership to believe that they can pass an unconstitutional ordinance. We know it's unconstitutional because the courts have told us it's unconstitutional in the recent decision of Price v. Garland, which is in the D.C. Court of Appeals for the uh, District of Columbia. Okay? They explicitly state that the public forum analysis doesn't apply to recording. They also tell us that a ban against recording public officials in the course of their public duties is unreasonable. Okay? It goes on, it goes against any legal thinking on the subject of the right to free press, the constitutional intent of which is to watch over our government officials and bring that information to disseminate it to the public. The ordinance then goes on to say that if asked to leave and you don't, you'll be trespassed, which makes absolutely no sense as the state case Hannapi, Hannapole v. State says that the trespassing statute is property in South Carolina. I'm up here simply as a courtesy to you folks because it's not a, a, it's not a if you will comply, but when you will comply. Because make no mistake, you will comply with the law just like every municipality before you and every municipality after you. Okay? Thank you. Of state news. You got something else? Saying? I passed my time to you. I'm a little pissed off right now. I can't say. Yeah, take car accident. <coughs> I'll get up here and say something. Mine, so. man, but I will let it know that if the ordinance does pass tonight, I'm only in town for a couple of days. But before I leave, there will be a notice of intent to sue dropped on the city here. Okay. And you can look forward to about 10 more of them within a three month time period. And I'll be happy to instruct other people how to file a pro se indigent lawsuit. So even the poorest of the poor can sue easily and get a little bit of money. If you guys want to give out free money for Christmas, we're all for it. Thank you. Thank you. The city clerk. Hi, I am. I'm just up here. I'm class. Okay. Um, I'm just dropping off this uh, notice of intent to sue. Okay. So we have to give it to the city clerk. Okay. And here's another one. All right. All right. Y'all have a very blessed day. Okay, Thank you very time. much. Have a good weekend. You too. to the city attorney's office.